I'm going to show you one of my favorite topics is logarithmic equations, and I have two examples for you. So the first one, if I am asked log base 3 of x squared plus 1 equals 2, I am going to rewrite that in exponential form. So just to remind you, this right here is the base, and there's your power, and it equals this. This kind of makes a little square swirl if you use arrows. Okay, so this is equivalent to the exponential statement x, I'm sorry, 3 squared equals x squared plus 1. And then we just do a little algebra. We know that's 9 equals x squared plus 1. Bring the 1 over. You get x squared equals 8. So square root both sides, but remember when you do that, you're going to do the plus minus, so x equals plus or minus square root of 8, well, that's an 8, and that really equals plus or minus 2 square root 2 when you simplify that. Um, now, you know you can't ever take the log of a negative number, so there's a possibility you might be worried that that is negative, but when, if you think about it, when you put that value in for x, it's going to get squared, and um, then it'll be positive. So you're not really taking the log of a negative number, even when you use that as your answer. So final answer, again, is x equals um, two, negative 2 square root 2 and 2 square root 2. All right, I'm sure you want to see one more now, because that one was so much fun. Um, second problem, problem number two, is what if you have e to the 2x plus 5 equals 8? Okay, um, one little trick, the problem with this one that makes it difficult is the bases, you can't make the bases equal to each other. So here's the trick. You can always, as long as you do something on one side, and you do the same thing on the other side, you're okay. So what if we took the natural log of both sides? And you're going to see in the minute why I would do that. If I do that, and then don't forget, it's okay to rewrite this. When you have um, an e to a power like that or anything to a power, you could write it in front. So this is really the same as 2x plus 5 times the ln of e equals ln of 8. Okay, now you have to remember that the ln of e is just 1. So really what you have is 2x plus 5 equals the ln of 8. Now you're not going to come up with a pretty answer for this. Um, and so if you're expecting that, you might be disappointed. But let's just solve this for x. So you'd get 2x equals ln of 8 minus 5, and then divide both sides by 2. So your final answer is x equals the ln of 8 minus 5 all over 2, okay? If you really wanted to find the value of that, you could put it in your calculator, but um, it's fine just to leave it like this.